This video creates a signature on your eForm. Drag and drop the signature object onto the third section. The signature object consists of a label and a sign pad. You can resize the sign pad to fit your requirement. Let's change the label to sign here. Click the configuration icon to show the properties window. Change the object ID to signature. I want the eForm to display the signer's full name and date of signing. So I check the display signer name and display signing date time options. You can see both the signed by and signed on appear. Let's resize the sign pad a bit larger. Open the properties window again. Go to signature panel. Choose the mode of signing. You can choose either predefined or drawing. When choose predefined, user will be asking for password and then paste the predefined signature image on the sign pad. When choose drawing, user is required to directly sign using a digital pen or mouse. Click update button to save your changes. Now, let's try the preview mode. Click the sign pad. You can sign with different color and pen size. Click Submit button. Your signature is now appear on the sign pad and also your name and time stamp. Now, let go back to the properties window and change the signature mode to predefined. When user clicks the sign pad, system will ask for user account password. The predefined signature file will load to the sign pad. You can predefine your signature file from system setup. Then choose My Account. Click the signature area to bring up the signature window. There are three types of predefined signature, drawing, typing text and image upload. You can draw your signature. Type your signature. Choose different font type. And finally upload your image file.